What's going on everybody? Sorry about the video I previously posted. I forgot that I was in a Zoom thing last night and I muted my mic. Even though everything else was on, I like... The microphone I use, I keep forgetting blue means it's on. And like the yellow light means it's off. I'm just not used to those colors at all. So I thought it was on. I do apologize. Um... I now have wrote down on a sticky under my mic that blue means on. <laughs> so, I want to talk about eBay Bucks first here. So, eBay Bucks changes on April 1st. That's when their new quarter starts. We're no longer going to get daily or, if you want to say, every day 1% eBay Bucks on all of our purchases. They're taking that away from us. Instead, what they're doing is they're supposed to give us more promotions, which... Hopefully they're good promotions and not these 5% ones. I really do miss the 10% ones. I barely rarely see those anymore. And if they are offered, they're by like mobile only. But um, they're supposed to now give you 12 months uh, to re use those uh, eBay bucks up. Now, I was trying to see if they had the word slotting window in here and it doesn't. But it just says 12 month redemption window. So I'm not too sure... With it, if you're going to be able to accumulate them daily and you're going to have to watch when things are going to expire or if they're just going to issue them out maybe monthly and then you'll have like the month on to it. It doesn't really say on here at all, like how you're going to really do it because the learn more here talks about uh, a MasterCard earning and how to get their eBay MasterCard, of course. So I didn't want to click on that at all, but... I used to be a big fan of the eBay Bucks a couple years ago because I would max them out when it was 10% times. And what I would do is, I, I can't remember all I was buying a time frame on to uh, eBay. It might have been, no, I was buy, I think I, what I was doing was buying my Nolan Ryans and I would pick up some odds and ends of stuff that I wanted to have graded. And I do know when I got to eBay Bucks, and it was, you know, a $500 voucher or so on to it, I would use that and buy Michael Jordan stuff all day long on to it. Which, luckily, Jordan stuff exploded, so it really paid off. So, I'm not too sure. It doesn't really go much into it on to here other than that. In the click here piece, like I was saying... Uh, it just takes you to the MasterCard thing. So let me know what you guys really think uh, about the eBay Buck program. I'm kind of curious because I know a lot of people have been big on it for a while. I just really stopped doing a lot on eBay ever since they went to the, they forced me into the managed program piece. I was a firm thing. I like to go into PayPal. I wish they would allow you instead of sending it to your bank account that they would just send it to PayPal. So I had to like build another bank account and everything just for that use because I didn't want to give them my personal or business account. I was too afraid of being hacked. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about eBay Bucks, the new one when it comes out here. I'm kind of curious to see what everybody says on to it. All right, let me pull up the fees thing. All right, this all again starts April 1st. And it's kind of interesting, really, to look at it because it, it confused me a little bit, but there's so much on here to read. I don't want to cover it all. If you get time, really dig into this because it's really interesting seeing what some of this stuff is changing here. Because they're talking about zero insertion fee, allotment increase, final value increases in select categories. Of course, baseball cards. Um... Oh, it's, oh, here it is. eBay will manage payments for all sellers in 2021. I thought that was by the end of last year. Okay. Um, retirement of promoted, of promoted listings credit for select store sellers. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff on here. Selling fees and expenses will be collected from your earnings. Financial eBay seller capital. I looked at that stuff. No way would I even touch that. Because they sent me something a while back on to, and I looked at it, and I started reading the fine print. Oh, no. No, no, no. Bad for me. But, okay, let's look at it real quick here. Non-sellers, you're basically going to get 50 more auction or fixed price listings per month. So, if you look at the stores, a basic goes from 350 to 1000 Premium goes from 1000 to 10000 I think that's what I have. 
And I forgot to cancel mine last year. Normally they send me like, I don't know, 20 notices. But they didn't. And I'm still waiting on BST to see when his site's going to go live before I actually cancel and just let it run out through. I think my store's due in November or December this year. But I'm pretty much done with eBay. I still sell some stuff on it, but not a lot anymore. I just don't like the managed payment program. That I had to get into and I don't like the new fees and the fees now went up so as you can see you are getting more listings on that there I need to find okay here it is like I said this stuff's all over the place on here here's the fee thing as we move away from upfront insertion fees oh we're moving away from those if you had a store you weren't paying to begin with if you went over your limit April 1st, 2020, we'll increase your final value fees 0.2% in select categories. When I looked at it, it was more than 0.2%, but we're going to look at it here. So, let me flip down here. All right, we're going to go with a store. Let's look at what it is now for baseball cards, all right? I gotta scroll way down to get to us, unfortunately. So bear with my fast scrolling on this stuff. Do 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 do. Yeah, some kind of music playing. All right, there we go. Right now, if you have a store, it's eleven point five percent, two point three five over. All right. Oh, I just hit the back arrow. All right, with a store right now, when you go down, because we are one of those categories, 12.35, that's more than 0.2%. More than 2%. This stage the same, if I do believe right, 2.35. We jumped up way more than 0.2%. So, I don't know where how they did their math. I was not an accounting um, major. I was in HR, and I do have a tax income tax license as well, too. But I that's more than point two percent. So I'm really curious if somebody actually understands that more than me. Please put in the comments because I'd like to learn how they did that. Because even if you took eleven point five five times point two percent, I don't believe it came up to that when I did it earlier, and I was trying to look at it. No idea. That's almost, uh, what is that, 0. 0.8 we went up. A plus 0. 0.8, because it was 11.55, I believe I just said, and now it's 12.35, 0.8%. And this is why I do not agree with eBay stuff anymore. I got the sports cards booming. Everybody wants their money. You know, it started mostly at Beckett, then it went to PSA, to SGC. Got new grading companies out there now, eBay? Wow, guys. Now, this is the other funny thing. If you... Let's see what's on here. Coins and paper jumped up to 12.35. They used to be like an 8%er. Stamps is like 7% or 8%, but they're not going up. So my thing is, why are other collectibles different in sports card, especially stamps? Probably because they're not, you know, highly out there. Coins, though, now, because there's been a lot of people trading, like, the gold and silvers and all that stuff. I figured this was going to go up. So let's go without a store here. So let's get the numbers from last year real quick. Or... Well, whatever you want to call it, the very last one. I'm just going to scroll quick till I can find... Oh, wow, this is different. Auction. Clothing. Jewelry. Coins. Huh. Okay. Don't see it on there. I'm just going back to this. Uh, that that's just way too much. But you guys are gonna be the same as us, twelve point three five percent without a store. But the idea with a store was supposed to be like if you were top rated and all this other stuff, you were able to get a small discount before. 
Or if you signed up early for the managed payment thing, you were supposed to be lowered on the system. So that's going to be interesting to see that if you were on that trial managed payment thing, if your stuff's going to go up too. So if you were one of the first few people that did a managed payment thing and set in a rate, let me know um, if your stuff's jumping up. But wait till after April 1st just to see because until it's official, I'm just curious. But let me know on to you can email me, Facebook me, whatever it may be. And we will uh, roll with that on to it, everybody. We will definitely roll with it. Because, I, like I said, I stopped with eBay a good bit. Because it's just been really... I've seen buyers getting away with a lot of stuff. A whole lot. I've seen some sellers getting away with stuff. But more buyers than sellers. So there's really not that big protection out there. And because the amount of money eBay's making, we'll say somebody comes up with a crazy scam. They'll let the guy keep it and they'll reimburse you so both people are winners. I don't think that's right. There are some cases where, okay, I got it. You know, say a guy says he doesn't get a package. It's been three, four weeks, and all of a sudden it gets delivered like six weeks, you know, after you shipped it. But he's been re... or he's... He's been reimbursed, and eBay reimbursed you. The card's kind of, you know, that was out of your hand type deal. But there's some people out there take advantage of that completely. But I wanted to hit this up real quick because I was curious on the thoughts of a lot of things. Because I know a lot of people don't have stores, and I know people do have stores. So let me know what you guys think about the new eBay fees update. Especially if somebody understands how they say 0.2% in select categories and when it, it i don't know if it was worded like these that their two percent might be an average but i did not see that somewhere and why sports cards went up 0.8 from what i'm seeing and don't forget you still got paid that 30 cent fee too across the board i think that's only with the stores though are paying the 30 cents now it might be everybody from what i'm looking at here Yeah, everybody across the board. Okay, but yeah, let me know what you guys think offhand because it's kind of interesting. Um, look at this stuff because you really get pounded from them on all these categories. Uh, I just look at this because here it says 12.35, and I'm guessing this was the old one down here. And it, it just, their stuff is so hard to read. This says 11.7 here, but it says most. There it is, 11.5. So it just took me down one. That's all it did. Okay. I'm just really curious how the math turns out like that 0.2%. Somebody knows, let me know. Like I said, this stuff's really hard to lead and clicking around on the stuff. It, it needs to be more um, user-friendly for especially somebody like me because I'm bouncing all around on different screens and it's taking me to different places. They should have a side-by-side -side comparison or something to make it a lot easier onto it. But all right, everybody, appreciate you watching the video again. Sorry about early. I forgot I had this mic in yellow doesn't mean on, blue's on, and I was on that Zoom last night. So remember to get this reposted for everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend. I'll catch you all later.